Time for a new wedding band, cause this thing is busted. So I'm gonna take this chunk of burl from my last video, hint, hint, chuck it up on the lathe, make a new ring. But before that, like button, subscribe button, I don't know, maybe, maybe. Welcome to the voiceover portion. We're making a burl ring. Gonna find a nice ring that's gonna fit my grubby fingers. And look at that, one ring. Oh, if you can tell how many different t-shirts I wear throughout this video, leave it in the comment below. The number might surprise you. So, just getting it centered here, making it a circle, you know, how wood lays work and they spin and then stuff turns into circles. That's what we're doing here. She's using my standard bowl gouge, nothing fancy. It, really, there's nothing too fancy about making a ring on the lathe. If you know spindle work, if you know bowl work, making a ring's pretty straightforward. There's a lot of different random tools that I use throughout it that you, just, that you don't necessarily need. Like this one, the boring head tool. You don't need this, you could use a parting tool, but this just makes life super easy. There's a link below for it. It uses these carbide inserts. You just sink her down with a set screw and then this little Allen key, you can see in the dovetail that as you turn this key on the left hand side, it moves the carbide left. And so you're slowly just boring it out and you just creep up to the size you want. Just working my way through, making sure I'm not going too big. If you go too big, ring won't fit. You, yeah, you know how it goes. All right, I think this is the right size, so I'm gonna do a test fit real quick with the ring. Even with all that crud in there, whatever, we'll blow it out later. Looks good. So thin CA glue, and we're just gonna take a little rubber mallet and tap, tap, tap her in. You, you want a tight fit. If it's not tight, you'll see the glue line. All right, gonna use the ring mandrel here. Pretty basic ring mandrel, two bushings and a lock nut. Keeps it all in place. Different bushings for different sized rings. Gotta pay homage to Hand Tool Rescue. This fits all wrench is amazing. Check out Eric's page, I got a link below. Okay, this is the part that I have messed up on too many times. I will not admit it. But you just wanna creep up on the size with a skew. I mean, any tool, I use the skew. And then what I like to do is, once I get close to the final like diameter, I creep up on it. I'm using 120 grit here. I'm gonna work my way up after I get the shape I like with the 120 and get the thickness I like. And then I'll just work up to 400. Here's the 400 here. I'm just going until I like the sheen and, and the way it looks and the overall shape. Once I'm done with the 400, we're just gonna move on to CA glue on a little paper towel, just a little dollop, spritz it with the activator and go until you like the sheen. And hey, I like the sheen. I think it looks nice. Gonna test it on the finger for the final looks and it's awesome. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.